welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing my everyday makeup routine. Um, a lot of people have asked me and requested me to do this look. So I wanted to get this video up for you guys because I did get a lot of requests and a lot of questions about what I usually like to do for um, my makeup every single day. And this is what I like to do right here. I like to keep everything just really nice, really natural, and really neutral. Um, nothing too crazy or over the top. So anyways, if you are interested in seeing what my everyday makeup routine is, then please keep watching. Okay, so I already primed my face using the Hangover uh, Primer from Too Faced. And then also, I just went over that with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Now, two primers is totally unnecessary. However, I have extremely dry skin. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I have dry skin. <laughs> extremely dry skin so I just feel like that really helps my skin get extremely moisturized and hydrated so after that I'm gonna go with my foundation and I like to use the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk foundation I love this foundation because I feel that it's very luminous and it gives me a very nice dewy finish and that's what I like because I have dry skin however do what makes you feel comfortable so whatever foundation that you like to use on your skin whether you're oily or dry or normal whatever type of skin that you have do whatever makes you feel comfortable obviously you don't have to use the same foundation that I'm using but I just like to use the luminous silk foundation from Armani I think it's an amazing foundation and it's absolutely beautiful so I'm gonna go ahead and apply that with my beauty blender um, and obviously make sure it's damp. Some people don't use it damp and that is where the problem will begin. It won't look right on your skin. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this all over my face. And now the next thing that I'm gonna go ahead and do is I am going to conceal under my eyes and I'm just gonna use my Naked Skin Concealer. Um, I love this concealer. You guys have seen me mention this so many times ever since I've gotten it. And I just love it. It is my baby and it is amazing. So thank you for being amazing. Mwah. concealing and highlighting under my eyes and down the bridge of my nose and on my chin and all that good stuff the next thing that I'm gonna go ahead and do is set everything and I'm just gonna set this with my Laura Mercier setting powder I have mentioned this in a ton of my videos as well ever since I've gotten it because it's amazing so I'm gonna set it under my eyes I also like to set this wherever I have obviously put um, my concealer, wherever I've highlighted, um, because you obviously don't want it to move throughout the day. And I like to set this first using my Beauty Blender, and I know it looks like insane, and that's totally okay. Can you imagine if you left the house like this? Oh my god, people would look at you some type of way. Um, I like to set this though with my Beauty Blender because I feel that it gets into all of the fine lines where the concealer likes to crease and then I like to leave it there for just a few minutes and then I'll go over it with just my taper brush just to make sure that everything is set and does not look crazy like this. So you will see me do that right now but I'm just going to wait for it to set and then I'll be right back. Okay so my powder has set and now I'm just going to take my flat um, tapered brush and I'm just going to go over that just to ensure that I don't look like I have white powder all over my face because that would not be cute. And now that I'm done setting everything, the next thing I'm going to do is move on to eyeshadow. And I always like to grab this Too Faced Natural Eyes palette and the reason why is because I feel that it's it's so easy and they have amazing shades and I every single day like I just don't like to wear a lot of makeup at all um, and I feel like these eyeshadows complement just about every single skin tone and are extremely wearable and are perfect for an everyday makeup look and I'll just show you what I mean like can you guys 
see how perfect these colors are for an everyday look. I mean, they're gorgeous. They're absolutely gorgeous. And I, I mean, I just, I recommend it. I, I, I grab for this every single time I'm doing my makeup, whenever I have to be out the door in five minutes, or whether it's just an everyday makeup look, regardless, I always grab for this palette because I just feel like these shadows are gorgeous and it's quick and it's easy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this color here. I like to mix these two together, which are Silk Teddy and Heaven. And I like to just apply this on my lid and my crease. I really feel that applying these two colors together just brightens up the eye area and gives you a really nice, gorgeous glow. And the next thing that I usually like to do is I will grab a little bit darker of a shade, which is this color here I usually grab, which is Push Up, and I'll mix Push Up and Honey Pot together with a little bit of Nudie. And I just like to apply that in the crease just to add a little bit of definition. And then I'm just gonna go over that just to ensure there's no harsh lines with another blending brush, and this one is from Sigma. It is their E25 brush. I love this brush for blending. So I'm just gonna blend this color just to ensure, again, there's no harsh lines. And see, just by adding that color in our crease, you can see the difference between this eye versus this eye. So a little bit really does go a long way. And like I said, I don't like to wear a lot of makeup every single day anyways. Um, there's a lot of times I don't wear makeup at all, but for an everyday look, this is what I usually gravitate towards. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and do my other eye and I'll be right back. And then what I usually like to do just to add a little extra something is I will go ahead and take the colors Honey Pot and Chocolate Martini. How cute are those names, by the way? <laughs> I'll take Honey Pot and Chocolate Martini um, just on a smaller blending brush and then I'm just gonna put this on the outer corners of my crease area and then I'll just blend that in just to give us a little bit more definition and a little bit more of a smoky eye but still very neutral and very wearable. And now I'm gonna go back in and blend this out with my um, E25 brush from Sigma. Just to make sure there's no harsh lines, of course, you guys hear me say that seriously all the time, that it feels like it's rehearsed, but really, blending is so important. And while I'm blending this, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I don't blend this darker shade that I applied on the outer crease all the way to the ends. I usually stop about right here, so that way it's almost like a gradient effect, and it goes from lighter to darker. And now for the brow bone, I usually like to apply these two shades here, which are Heaven and Silk Teddy, the same that I applied on my lid. And I'll just mix them together and just place them on my brow bone, and then you'll see me blending that out just to, again, ensure there's no harsh lines. And now that I'm done with my eyeshadow, I'm just gonna go ahead and move on to my brows, and I really like using the Anastasia Perfect Brow Pencil. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera. If you guys want a brow tutorial, then let me know in the comments down below. I can do that for you. But just for the sake of saving some time, I'm gonna do that off camera, and I will be right back. So now that I'm back and I'm done with my brows, the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm just going to line this inner area here. I like to do that just to add some definition um, to my eyes and make them pop a little bit, but you will see that I actually don't apply false lashes. Um, I obviously am showing you an everyday makeup look and I don't wear lashes every single day. So um, I'm not going to wear them in this video. So I'm just going to line the inner part of my eye right here. And so now that I'm done with that, I'm just going to go in with mascara. And the mascara that I'm using, I'm sure if you are not new to my channel, you know what my favorite is. And it's the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I absolutely love it. And it's from the drugstore and it's super cheap, so how do you beat that? 
but it really is like amazing. So if you don't own it, definitely go out and pick it up because it's awesome. Yeah, can you guys just real quickly see the difference from this eye versus this eye? Like, look what this drugstore mascara does to my lashes though. Like, it's amazing. It is amazing, I love it. Seriously, it's bomb. So now, I, what I usually like to do after I apply my mascara is I like to take these two colors here, which are Push Up and Erotica, um, in this palette. And I like to put them on a really small flat brush. I usually don't like to apply eyeliner on my waterline on the bottom. I'm going to take these two colors here and just apply that on my lower um, area. And what I love about this is that it really adds definition because of the fact that I don't wear any type of liner on my lower waterline. I just feel that it gives some extra definition to the eye and really makes the eyes pop and makes it a little bit more smoky, especially once I blend it out with my pencil brush. And now that that's done, before I blend it out using my pencil brush, this is Morphe and it is their M431 brush. Um, I like to apply just a little bit of Silk Teddy on my inner tear ducts just to give my eyes a little bit more pop. And now just taking that same pencil brush, I'm just going to blend out my lower line here. And now that I'm done with that, I'm just gonna go ahead and coat my lower lashes with the same L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and contour my face, and you guys already know what I'm about to use because I use it all the time, and it's the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. Um, this is just what I gravitate to all the time. This is just what I always seem to pick out. I love this palette. It's just really easy and really simple. So I'm going to use this shade here um, and I'm just going to carve out my cheekbones using my Real Techniques um, sculpting brush. And now I'm just going to contour my nose using that same shade. Um, I have somewhat of a big nose. I don't know, I'm gonna go ahead and just, you see this? Boom. I have somewhat of a big nose. So I like to contour it. Usually when I do my makeup, I just feel like it's the easiest fix to do a two minute nose job, but really though, like it is. So I'm just go ahead, gonna go ahead and do that now. Sometimes when your contour game is too strong, you gotta blend it out with your fingers. That was that was kind of dark actually. I was looking at myself in the mirror and I was like, um, you're gonna need to blend that out with your fingers, honey. A brush is not gonna do you any good at this point. Okay, now that the contour on my nose is all blended out, I'm gonna go ahead and use blush. And the blush that I've been really loving lately is this blush here from MAC. It's called Petal Power. I think it's just the perfect like nude blush, but it's also gorgeous because we are in spring going into summer. It's a mineralized blush, and you guys have actually heard me talk about it before. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of this on my cheeks. And now that that's all blended out, I don't know why, but recently I've been really into mixing that um, Petal Power color with my Gold Deposit from MAC. I don't know why, maybe it's just because we are in spring and I'm loving that glowy, luminous look. So I, that's what I've been doing lately and I'm just gonna apply that, a little bit of that just over my cheeks. And now for the final step, I'm just gonna apply a highlighter 
Um, I Like I said, I've been loving that luminous, glowy look. So it is the Too Faced Candlelight Highlighter that I am applying. And I'm just applying this with my fan brush. But seriously, can you guys see how pretty that is? Like, look at that. When the sun hits it right, it's just like, boom. Like you're beaming. And it's really freaking pretty. I love it. I have like an obsession with highlighters and it's really bad. But yeah, now we're going to move on to lips. <laughs> and now for lips, which is finally the last step, um, I'm going to go ahead and apply a nude color. I always gravitate towards nude colors whenever I'm doing my makeup. Just, I love neutral colors. So this one is from MAC. It's called Soar. It's a lip liner. And I'm just going to apply that all over my lips. And we're done. Just kidding. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh gosh. And now I'm just going to go ahead and apply some gloss over my lips and this is Pouty Princess by Gerard Cosmetics. So finally this is the end. Um, this is just what I like to do for my everyday makeup look. It's really simple. It's really easy. I didn't use a million products and cake on my face with makeup. I don't like that feeling. Obviously, you guys saw that I, I didn't apply lashes. I mean, I just don't like a ton of makeup every single day. I think less is more, in my opinion. So, anyways, thank you so much for watching and keeping up with me, as always. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye. Don't you just love when you forget what you were just about to say? Like, I just totally had a blank spot there for a minute in my head and now I'm just talking to you guys just talking just to talk isn't that great I completely just forgot what I was gonna say like completely forgot Ugh, story of my life I swear my dog is barking downstairs um, I'm not really sure if you guys can hear that I really hope you can but it doesn't matter anyways because I just pointed it out he's barking downstairs like crazy why? It makes me wonder why. Yeah, I'm gonna go check that. I'll be right back.